हॅलो एव्हरी वन माय सेल्फ लेक्चरर आदिती अनिल कुशारे मास्टर ऑफ फार्मसी इन क्वालिटी अशुरन्स टेक्निक्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द एक्सपेरिमेंट्स फ्रॉम फार्मास्युटिक्स टू सो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन टू सॉलिड डोसेज फॉर्म्स दॅट इज पावडर्स अँड अदर ओरल युनिट डोसेज फॉर्म्स द सॉलिड डोसेज फॉर्म्स आर अवेलेबल मोस्टली इन युनिट डोसेज फॉर्म्स सच ॲज टॅबलेट्स कॅप्सुल्स कॅचेट्स पावडर्स ऑर टॅबलेट ट्रायचुरेट पावडर्स The pharmaceutical powder is a mixture of finely divided drug and or chemical in the dry form. They are solid dosage forms of medicament which are meant for internal and external use. Classification of powders are bulk powder for internal use, bulk powder for external use, simple and compound powder for internal use, powders enclosed in gadgets and capsules and fifth one compressed powders that is tablets that are also known as tablet triturates. So first one we will discuss about the bulk powder for internal use powders are dispensed in bulk when accuracy of dosage is not important they are supplied in the wide mouth container that permit the easy removal of spoonful of powder examples of that bulk powder for internal use are rhubarb powder bpc that is known as a grigory's powder compound bismuth powder second one that is a bulk powder for external use these are non potent substances these powders are supplied in the cardboard glass or the plastic container the dusting powders are supplied in a perforated or the sifter top container the classification of this bulk powder for external use is first of all dusting powder then insufflation snuffs and dentifrices we will discuss about dusting powder these are generally applied to the skin in very fine state to avoid the local irritation hence the dusting powders should be passed through sieve number 80 to enhance their action classification of dusting powder is medical and surgical there are two classes we will discuss about a medical these are used mainly for superficial skin conditions and sterility is rarely essential medical dusting powders are not intended for application to the open wounds or areas of broken skin surgical one these are used in the body cavities and major wounds on burns and on the umbilical area of infants hence they must be sterile insufflations these are medicated dusting powders meant for introduction into body cavities such as nose throat ears and vagina with the help of apparatus known as insufflator insufflations should be finely divided powder so that a stream of fine particles of medicaments get applied to the site of application snuffs these are finely divided solid dosage forms of medicament which are inhaled into the nostrils for its antiseptic bronchodilator and decongestion action snuffs are dispensed in the flat metal boxes with the hinged lid then next one fourth class that is dentifrices which is tooth powders these are applied with the help of toothbrush for cleaning the surface of the teeth they contain the suitable detergent or the soap some abrasive substances such as calcium sulfate magnesium carbonate sodium carbonate sodium chloride are used in the fine powder a strong abrasive substance should not used as it may damage the tooth structure then next third class that is the simple and compound powder for internal use this is the main class of the powder each individual dose is enclosed in the paper in the divided powders the number of ingredient may be one simple powder or more than one that is compound powder the minimum quantity of powder should not less than 100 mg simple powder a simple powder contains only one ingredient either in a crystalline or the amorphous form which should be reduced to fine powder and wrapped as individual doses compound powders compound powders contain the two or the more than two substances which are mixed together and divided into desired number of individual doses fourth one that is powders enclosed in gadgets gadgets are the solid do- unit dosage form of the drugs these are molded from rice paper they are used to reduce to sorry enhance the nauseous or the disagreeable powders and are available in the different sizes to hold the drugs from 0.2 to 15 g of powder gadgets are of two types that is wet seal gadgets and dry seal gadgets 
डायरेक्शन फॉर दिस इज इमर्स इन वॉटर फॉर फ्यू सेकंड एंड स्वेलो विथ अ ड्रॉट ऑफ वॉटर देन फिफ्थ वन दैट इज अ टैबलेट ट्राइचुरेट्स दीज आर द पाउडर्स मोल्डेड इन टू द टैबलेट्स मोल्डेड टैबलेट्स आर फ्लैट सर्क्यूलर डिस्क यूजली कंटेन अ पोटंट सब्सटन्स विच इज मिक्सड विथ लैक्टोज डेक्स्ट्रोज और सम अदर सुटेबल डायलुएंट पैकिंग एंड स्टोरेज पैकेजिंग एंड स्टोरेज of this tablet triturates are packed in an air tight container to protect from moisture general method of preparation of powders the during the powdering weighing and mixing there is a loss of powder which cannot be avoided therefore calculate the quantity for one extra powder than required it is difficult to weigh the quantity less than 2 grain or 100 mg as we know 1 grain is equal to 60 mg on dispensing balance therefore this quantity must be triturated with a suitable diluent such as lactose the crystalline substances are powdered separately and then weigh the required quantity of ingredient mix all the ingredients in the ascending order of their weight and mix thoroughly to obtain a homogeneous powder mixing of powders powders may be mixed by one of the following methods that is a spatulation trituration geometric dilution sifting and tumbling dispensing of powders involving special problem a number of problems arise while dispensing a powder containing volatile substances hygroscopic and deliquescent powder eutectic mixture efflorescent powders explosive substances and potent drugs so special considerations are done while dispensing such powders volatile substances first problem is hola for the volatile substances the volatilization of substances like menthol camphor and the essential oils may take place incorporation in the powders or should be wrapped in the wax paper and outer wrapper may be any thick paper then second one for hygroscopic and deliquescent powder the powder which absorb the moisture from the atmosphere such as ammonium chloride iron and ammonium citrate pepsin phenobarbital sodium bromide sodium iodide such substances are supplied in the granular form or should be double wrapped for deliquescent substances wrapping in aluminum oh, sorry ammonium foil or plastic cover is advisable third one that is for efflorescent powder some crystalline substances become wet or liquefy during trituration for an example caffeine citric acid ferrous sulfate etc this difficulty may be overcome by using the anhydrous salt or an inert substance eutectic mixture when two or more substances are mixed together they liquefy due to the formation of a new compound which has a lower melting point than room temperature example menthol thymol camphor salol etc an equal amount of any inert absorbent like magnesium carbonate light magnesium oxide kaolin starch lactose is mixed with eutectic substance packaging of powder for divided dosage form for internal use should be done appropriately double wrapping white demi paper gives inadequate protection to volatile hygroscopic and deliquescent substances unless it is lined with grease proof paper if greater moisture resistance is required use waxed paper the inner paper is cut a few mm smaller each way than the white demi and it is satisfactory to fold both the papers together sometimes it is necessary to wrap each packet externally in a aluminum foil so in next session we will discuss about the actual experiment experiment number 82 title of this experiment is to prepare and submit the compound magnesium trisilicate oral powder bp that is according to british pharmacopeia 10 g this is in this we are going to study the solid dosage forms for internal use proposition 1 official bulk powder for internal use learning objectives are to understand the technique of the preparation of bulk powders and ability to prepare and label bulk powder correctly apparatus required are mortar pestle spatula etc factor calculated as quantity required upon quantity given is equal to 10 upon 1000 that is equal to 0.01 this is the prescription which is denoted by the symbol rx this is the prescription given over here let's discuss in detail about the formula table we have type that is category use or role of ingredient translation means the name of ingredient as there is no quantities given in the latin terminology so there is nothing quantities are used in this quantity given in imperial system quantity given in metric system for preparing 1000 g and quantity taken in metric system to prepare 10 g magnesium trisilicate used as to relieve the indigestion problems 
quantity given is a 250 gram taken quantity should be 2.5 gram this is quantity is calculated with the help of factor chalk in powder that is nothing but simply calcium carbonate which is used as an antacid quantity given 250 gram taken quantity should be 2.5 gram sodium bicarbonate used as an antacid quantity given 250 gram taken quantity 2.5 gram heavy magnesium carbonate is also used as an antacid and laxative quantity given 250 gram taken quantity should be 2.5 gram direction for internal use only to be used as directed by physician so we have this is a magnesium trisilicate which is a previously weight this is a calcium carbonate that is a chalk in powder means chalk powder means calcium carbonate which is previously weight this is a sodium bicarbonate and this is magnesium carbonate so i am going to transfer all these powders into this mortar pestle mortar so all these four powders are transferred into this mortar pestle for proper mixing so i am going to triturate it properly as till all the powders get properly mixed and after proper trituration of all these four powders now i am going to transfer this powder into this wide mouth dry bottle and then we will proceed for next labeling part so we will move towards labeling of formulation powder containing 10 packets for abc means name of 